Marquez, does it benefit you at all just to have the last two weeks knowing Jameis was a starter and kind of tailored things towards him instead of having that? Uh, yeah, I think it's good to know, you know, the positions that's going to be there in the game. It makes it a lot easier rather than, you know, having to think who's it going to be going back and forth. But um, we had a lot of work this off season. We had a lot of work in camp, so we was comfortable with either one. So what's the whole process been like as far as you all being up here? Oh, man, <laughs> you can't imagine. I mean... Uh, having to leave home to come to another state and basically do the same thing. But at the end of the day, we got a roof over our head. We're safe. Our families are safe. And that's all you can matter. You know, football is a game played, and we just go where it takes us. I think we're learning. I think this trip has made us come closer together as a as a bond. I think we're bonding a lot more, and it's just having to test our adversity, willing to adapt to come to a place and try to keep the same mindset into this first game. You know, you mentioned working with James. What does this offseason mean for you? I mean, as drafted with you last year, you guys don't have an offseason leading up to the season. You just kind of jump into it. And now you get all this preparation to lead into this. And how much more does that help you feel comfortable with what you're doing? Uh, they said camp was hell. And since we didn't have a true camp last year, I didn't really uh, understand it. I couldn't relate to it because I didn't have one. But this count was was it was what I kind of imagined. Well, it wasn't what I imagined because I didn't know what we were going to. But from everything what people said, how long it was going to be, the long days, early mornings, late nights, and everything was what they said. So you can't prepare for count. You just got to learn how to roll with it and get through it. How much does that help you for a game? Though? I mean, because obviously I would assume that the game can't be as hard as that situation. <laughs> right. I think coaches do a great job with trying to make everything more difficult. So when it comes time for the game, it won't be a surprise. It'll come second hand to us. So I think um, the team, when we practice, they push us, we push them, and we make it. And coaches, like I said, coaches make it hard. and. We make it hard on ourselves knowing that if it's harder now, then when it comes to game time, we wouldn't have seen everything that's been thrown at us. So it won't be bad to us. And Quez, what's it been like for you watching Jameis go from where he was last year to being the starting quarterback this game? Mm -hmm. You got a chance to work with him a lot, I imagine, with uh, mm -hmm. like the, the third team offense and stuff like that. Right. right. Game, what's it been like for you to see that? Um, Jameis is a fun a fun spirit to be around. Whether it's football, outside of football, just his personality shows a lot about him, you know. Um, <clears throat> Jameis, seeing him come in, you know, not really knowing him, not really working with him, but having to spend every day working with him, working on the field, off the field, um, going to his house, you know, meeting up in another state just to work. Um, it shows that he really cares and really earns to be the best. It, it shows that he reaches out and try to help us because we need it just as much as he does. So seeing him coming in and start from the bottom, work his way up with countless hours of training with on and off with his guys and with our guys. So it just shows his resilience and how um, his perseverance on how he keeps pushing and keeps going and wants to be the best. Not putting words in your mouth, but it also kind of shows like, like passion for the game, right? Mm -hmm. I'm curious if you're going to be in that position and kind of stick through it. I mean, I've had a couple of people say that that's kind of what kept them through that. Right. I'll say Jameis loves football, and you don't have to be around him long to know that. So does Jameis actually get to the facility first every morning? He's there before I am, so I can't answer that, but I wouldn't be surprised. I think Andrew Dowell said it was either, I think it was Dowell that said it was either him or Jameis every morning. Oh, uh, yeah, they, yeah, they had to, I wouldn't be surprised if I put it like that. I wouldn't you, be surprised. Did you notice anything different about Jameis when he, when he started the second preseason game? He said he missed leading the pack out there. Mm -hmm. Was he pretty much the same, or was he a little, had a little bit more bounce to him? Well, I think coming where he came from, with him being a man and him being a leader that he was at Tampa, and coming over here, kind of having to take a back seat to what everybody, what everything was going on, I think it um, showed another side of Jameis, knowing that 
because he's used to being top dog all the, everywhere he's been at. But when he came here, I think it, when he had to take that back seat, he had to sit back and observe. I think he did a great job of that, and he's taking everything that he's learned. I'm, I can't imagine what he's learned from Drew. So, and Taysom being in the room last year, but him sitting back and learning everything, and it just kind of propels him this year. And I think he's eager, he's hungry, and he's ready for this year. What, uh, what stands out to you about Jair Alexander? Sir? Their, their cornerback Alexander, what stands mm -hmm. out about him just watching them? Um, it's a great group. You know, the guys are patient. They played a lot of football, so they're experienced. And we take on that every rep that we have, it's either going to affect them in a way where we either hitting them on blocking or we're trying to do what we can to get open. So it's going to be a, a fun first game, and I'm just excited and ready for it. Hey, Clint, what's it been like watching Alvin Kamara from college teammates and seeing him now as Um, I think, well, in college, I had no doubt that he was going to blow up. I mean, I know a lot of people say that, but actually playing with him and watching him as he came in and watching him play in college, you could see that he was special. You could see he was different. And when he came to the league, he didn't stop. You know, just kept his foot on the gas and kept going. And everything he's earned, everything he's gotten, he's earned. Nothing's been given to him. So I think he takes that. Um, to heart, he knows what he has to do. He knows um, what he can do, and I think that's what separates him. Like he doesn't care what other people think. He goes out there and plays his game, whether it's a good game, bad game, whether um, it's expectations that he set out for for other people. He doesn't care. He just goes out and plays his game. And that's what I love about him. Just curious. I don't training camp rules change every year now with COVID. Did y'all have to stay at a hotel this year? Uh, I think it was an option. Okay. Because I know I went home and slept in my sleep number. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's literally why I asked. I was going to ask if you've been oh, living out of a hotel for um, five weeks. I don't know. I'm trying to for a long time. <laughs> okay. For a long time. But now we're nomads right now. But we, we've been together. And I think it's made us stronger. Sleep number, huh? Oh, yeah. What's your number? See, my bed's broke. So, I think it's on 50. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. Who is the best, uh, the best fan?